Hello, this is Christy. In today's video for Zara Designer Pro X, I'm going to show you a little trick that I learned a long time ago and I loved to use it in many of my projects, particularly when you work with photos. So in recent videos, I've covered some functions for Zara Designer Pro that have to do with photo editing. And this one is kind of in the middle. It's also a photo editing procedure, but it's also something to do with color in Zara Designer Pro. And one of these uh, functions that I haven't seen in many other software. So let me just show you, I have imported a few photos here from Unsplash and there you can see they're all different kind of moods, different tones, different colors. I'm gonna show you how you can make these kind of look the same and convert them into a monotone. And by monotone, I don't mean actually gray scale, just gray or black and white. I mean a specific color tone overall in the photo. So let me just show you what I mean. So what I mean by monotone is this. If you wanna make this uh, not gray scale, but have a, a, a single color overall and black or and white, you can make a negative image too. This is how you do it in Zara and it's very easy. It's just select the photo and on the bottom here you have the color bar. Now, of course, if you click on any color, it's going to turn it into a monotone. But what does happens is um, this procedure is actually done. If you right click, you can see the two options here, contone light color and contone dark color. These are the two colors you can change. By default, you know, Zara Designer Pro figures out what you want to do. If it was a normal shape, like a, a rectangle or something, and if you just click on a color down here, it just changes the color of that object. But in our case here, this is a photo. So Zara recognizes that this is a photo, so it just converts it into a contone. What this means is it just uses the highlights in the photo and the uh, anything that's not black or uh, you know darker areas it uses it to paint it with that color you selected so if i want to make this completely red like you know right click on the red color here and select set contour light color now this is negative which is not what we want so you may right click set contour dark color and then on the black set contour light color you've made a negative image but if you select the other way around so again right click on the black select the dark color and right click on the red select contour light color so now you have a monotone color a contone i don't know the difference between these words but you can tell here that you know everything is red except the black bits now if you don't like this because it's too dark you can of course still apply functions that are in the photo tool. So if you go to the photo tool here, you get the photo bar at the top and you can probably use the contrast like this to make it, uh, you know, more, you know, posterized if you want. You can use the brightness to brighten it up a bit and you notice it will not change the red color that you gave. It will just affect the photo as it was before. You can even zoom in, you know, in here and maybe, you know, sharpen it, you know. So all of the other photo effects still work. When you compare it, it goes back to the faded version or the contrast version, whatever you do. And here again, you can still affect, you know, the light and the dark areas. You can select the balance between darkness and light to adjust the photo any way you like and like here. So this is a very cool trick. So this is very easy to do now for all the other photos. Just select on this, each photo, right click, set contour, dark color. It made it black and white and select the red again and select set contour, light color. So now this is also red. Let's try on this one. Right click on the black, dark color, right click on the red, light color. So there you go. This may be a bit too dark. Again, going to the photo, you can brighten it. You can add a bit of contrast. And same with this one. Just to reduce the differences between the photos. So you can see now my photos kind of look the same and you can probably use them together in a design and they're not no longer going to be so different from each other in terms of uh, colors and things. So 
what you can do is also define your own color. So if you're not happy with these colors that come with the uh, Zara um, color toolbar, you can actually create your own color. So let's assume that maybe instead of this red, I want to use some kind of green, right? So all I have to do is just click on this color tool here, click to edit current color. And this is design. This is the selected on the orange that I used earlier on that shape. Not a problem you just deselect all the photos and select the color you want here. You can even change from the different types of color models. I'm going to stay on the HSV. So I'm going to create this kind of weird, powerful green. Maybe just go towards the yellow a bit like a sap green kind of thing. I don't know. This is a bit too light. Anyway, so when I'm happy with the color I want to use, if you don't if you don't see it very easily here, you can actually use a shape, you know, just select the shape and you're going to see the color you're getting here, right? So if you need to adjust it, you know, you're adjusting the shape now. So when you're happy with this color, you can click on this icon here, this kind of label thing. You click on this and it says new named color. You can create your own color name. So let's call it my green. Okay. Doesn't matter what name you give it. When you click create here, watch the toolbar at the bottom here, click create. So now my color is down here. I, I can delete my shape. I don't care for the shape. Close this dialog box and now click on this photo and right click on the green that I just created and say contone light color. So you can see now I can create the same effect with this green I just made. Doesn't that look cool? So this is a very cool effect and I've used it a lot in many of my designs when I needed to kind of have uh, normalized photos and make them kind of look to, you know, the same way, use the same color theme or need to match a specific color from like a color theme or, or another element on the page. This is really cool. It looks a bit retro, a bit, uh, I don't know, it's, I'm not sure it's Art Deco, but anyway. I hope you like this tutorial. This is a very nice tool in Zara Designer Pro, how to make contone photos, contone colors. And uh, I hope you like this. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions about this tutorial, feel free to let it leave it in the comments and I will get back to you. Or if you would like to uh, suggest uh, an idea for a next video, let me know in the comments as well and I will try and make it. Thanks again for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and see you next time. <music>